All right, we are going to make an SD card for your new X9 Lite. First, you have to have a card and you need to format it to FAT32. Needs to be a card up to 32 gigabytes. Okay, now that that's complete, we're going to go to FreeSky's website. Now you're going to go to the Products tab and choose the X9 Lite. You're going to scroll down to the Downloads tab. And then you're going to go down to the SD card contents. And you're just going to download that. Once the download's complete, you're just going to copy all of the files, including the bottom one, and you're going to write them directly to the SD card that you just formatted. Alright, now we are going to download the firmware files that you need. First, you're going to download the uh, 190605 version. That will give you the D16 firmware. And we're going to put that in the firmware folder that is on the SD card now. Now we're going to go back to the download. We're going to go to PMU, which is Power Management Unit, and we're going to copy that file again to the firmware folder on your SD card. Now we're going to jump up to 190720 and download that. We're not going to go to the top one because there may be uh, differences between it and the receivers for now. So all we're going to download here is the firmware bin file. That's the only one you need. So just copy that to the firmware file on the SD card. Now we're all done with that. I like to double check to make sure the files that I want made it to the SD card. And so this is me opening the file just to make sure the things are there. And there it is. We should be all set. Now we'll just take the card to the radio. Oh yeah, if you're running a Windows system, make sure to reject it before you take the card out. Alright, now we'll put the card in the radio with the contact pins facing up. It can be a bit fiddly. And then you go directly into bootloader mode by holding the trims to the center and just pushing the power button quickly. Now all we gotta do is write firmware and hold down enter for a few seconds and the firmware update will start. This is just rewriting the bootloader, I believe. And now we'll just hit exit and the radio will fire up. It'll say this warning, but all you do is go through it. It's just telling you that it's been changed. Just skip the calibration for now and hold down menu button. Now page to the next page which is SD card and go to the firmware folder. Now first we're going to rewrite the bootloader again with the bin file and that's a very quick one. And then we're going to do the power management unit. This one takes a little while and I think it just updates things so that the power board can supply enough power for the new firmware. 
Now we're going to update the internal XJT. So we flash the internal module. And this one takes a little while too. Once you're done, hit OK, and your radio should be good to go. I'm just going to show a few steps here um, of how I verify that things worked correctly. So first I'll go to the radio setup and just scroll over to make sure that it shows 2.3 version and then I'm going to actually go in like I'm going to bind a model and I'm going to scroll up to the mode and there it shows access and ACCST D16. That is what we want. Put it back to access and that's it. Now all you have to do is bind a receiver to make sure it works. Now keep in mind that we skipped the calibration page. so. If you bind a receiver right now and plug in servos, the servos will not work because the sticks are pinned to the upper right corners. So at this time, you would want to do a radio calibration and then it would be all set and ready to use. Thanks for watching our video. This is Chris at Aloft Hobbies.